Today we're going to talk about how to play bingo, because believe it or not, some of you don't know. We're playing for lifesavers. So first, today, we need to set up your bingo board. So we need to fill in the empty 24 spaces with the 29 possible words. The ones in italics are basically vocabulary words that we added through our book worksheets. So you have a lot of possibilities. How we'll play. I will read a definition to one of those words. If you have the word, if you chose that word to be on your bingo board, then you can match it and you can check off the box that it's in. I will read the definition twice just in case you don't get it in the first time and I will do this slowly. When you have five words, you have achieved bingo. And the first round will win with five simply diagonally horizontally or vertically, for those of you who don't know, diagonal, horizontal, or vertical. All the other fancy ways to win will try in the second round. So how you win? You should, of course, say bingo loudly. If you don't say bingo, I don't know, you don't win. Um, then you say the words you won with and tell me the definitions that go with them. So this kind of cuts down on cheating. If you don't know the definitions that go with them, you don't get to have a winning bingo. So I'll make sure that the ones you think are there are actually the words that I've defined. And when you give the definitions, you're allowed to use your materials, your book, your papers, but you have to do this in a reasonably quick fashion. So you need to be prepared. We're going to keep playing. So when somebody wins, we're going to keep playing for second and third place. So don't erase your marks. And then after this, we're going to play another round. Round two, we're going to win in fancy ways. We're going to win with all around the free space. We're going to win with post-it stamps, which is having four in one of the corners together. Or we're going to win with just the four corners. So those are different ways to win for round two. This, of course, only helps us study vocabulary, so you should still study your worksheets to be prepared for Friday's test.